who are here at National's most important because I believe the world changes with them. But I want to, you guys want to make a comment before I open the floor for any questions about your work? I need elegance. Elegance. That's elegance. There's, there's a real thread period. between these films. I know. Well, you know what's funny? I really love that. You know what's funny about this? The reason my film is called Peter Kids because, you know, Marsha and Sylvia, you know, they're, we, we don't talk about what it means for two people of color and, who were trans in the late 60s to fight back against police brutality. Because, like, stop and frisk isn't necessarily anything new. It's been the mentality of the NYPD since there's been black people in New York City. So for these women to take that risk, I'm asserting that anybody who's, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender in the Western world are the gay children of Sylvia and Marsha. And that's why I call my queer kids life, is to say that we are the pure children of these two women. So that that's the connection point. is implicit. That would be intentional. For, for a, a, a lighting issue, can we take her hat off? I think you can see. Lord, you're asking I me know. I look, know. Lord, man. ask me. Look. The <laughs> Lord, ask me. Ask me. Now we can see you. <laughs> I want to see your face. Um, uh, we have questions from the floor. Anyone want to pose a question or comment about the work? I know you do. I'll make a statement because yeah. I've never well, talked about it. Please. Well, I have, you know, questions. that thread that you talked about was kind of what I was feeling and noticed when I was thinking, yeah. yeah. So I, I really have two questions, and maybe, you know, there's no such thing as a dumb question, but what is it about here? And I don't know how far back this, the, the draw to the peer goes, mm -hmm. but if there's some, I'd like to know a little bit more about that, maybe, and then and then I wanted to know, uh, I know that um, the DA, I think around 2012, after we opened the case, I just wanted to get an update and see more about that. Do you want to talk about the history of the news? I can, I Feel can. Um, there's a really great book you can pick up called Gay New York. I think the author is last name with the Lobo. I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing it right. But nonetheless, it tells the story of uh, New York City and particularly that the piers have been a high traffic, high volume queer area since the, the Christopher Street was named in 1799. And it's also the oldest street in New York City as well. Because of it being on the water and in, in, like, in the port cities and all the things that go with the port, you know, the import export, the sale of human bodies, the drinking culture, the party culture, all of this kind of circulated around that area. And incidentally, and correct me if I'm wrong, Stonewall was known as a spot for years where if you were interested in interracial queer relationships, this was the place to go. So, you know, so so there is this history and, and and lastly, you know, there's this great article called um, uh, Vanishing AIDS and Disappearance, something, something, something with the peer by Ron Sember, where he talks about this notion of a, of a calling, of like, of perhaps like, you know, physical locations being able to yield some sort of uh, cultural memory, shared cultural experience. Mm -hmm. And perhaps, you know, this history of the peer from like the late 19th century all the way through to Marsh and all the way through the individuals in my film 